I guess we're doing a new game. Um, again, I know the plot. I know the story. So we're probably not going to focus too much on the plot and the story. We're probably just going to try to get through it. We'll do a little bit of reading and, and whatnot. But for the most part, it's, I'm going to try to focus mainly on gameplay. Um, but let's do it. Let's start a new game. Let's start a new game of dredge. We'll dredge those depths like never before. Oh, God. What is going on? It's just a cutscene. It's just a cutscene. Why are you stressing? That's why. That's why. That's why. Oh, nope. That didn't help. Oh my god. Encoding overload. Is Dredge, like, graphically intensive or something? What's going on? Alright, it looks... Seems fine now. The morning light... We were just in a shipwreck. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more of the details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Eerie. Eerie. Alright, I need to remember how to play this. Wasset. Wasset. That's the camera, yep. Lovely. Um, maybe we'll turn some stuff down a little bit? Maybe we'll go down to medium? Oh, you can change the colors. That's cool. I didn't know that. That's helpful. That music is still really loud. I think we'll turn the music. It's too quiet now, but... The music is very somber, so it's, it's nice to have it kind of quiet. How's that looking? All right. First fish in a brand new, uh, brand new game. Bra brand new game. New game for us. Uh, right. I need to remember how to do this again. Yeah, nice, cool. Blue mackerel. First fish of the dredge segment of the subathon. Easily one of my favorite fishing mechanics that I've seen so far in a game. It's it's so unique and different. Big fan. Big, big, big fan. Loading buoy. It serves America safe, spa uh, safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in gloom of in the gloom of night. Dredging is so expensive. Oh, that's what you're trying to say. Is it really like IRL? IRL dredging. Don't have the right equipment for that stuff. He's back, and so am I. Heck yeah! Hope your shower was good. You clearly made it out all right. Uh, I've never, I never really thought of that. I guess, yeah. What makes it so expensive? Is it not just put rope down, pull rope up again? Ah, oh. missed the golden one. Um. 
I indeed showered safely. Good, excellent. That's what we like to hear. Don't have the right equipment. I guess there's a lot of upkeep, I guess, with dredging, right? Because you've got you've got a very specific um, system set up to like crank the gears and all this kind of stuff. Because I guess you don't know what you're going to get, right? It could be heavy. You're going to want to make sure that the boat can pull up stuff that's heavy. Getting stuck on rocks and all that kind of stuff. There's probably a lot of damages as well that needs to be repaired. Like engine repairs and, and hook repairs and boat repairs and all sorts of repairs. My definition of dredging is excavating the material on the bottom of the seafloor. Perhaps this is different. No, no, this that's what we're doing here as well. Yeah. You we dredge for supplies in this game. We fish for fish. So it's a bit bit of bit of bit of both. The mayor is waiting nearby. I see you returned in one piece. No, we didn't find that yet, but we're looking. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. Oh, you did a little jean dance. That's good. A little jean, jean dance in the shower. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Hmm. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving this town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Do you understand? Yes. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. I will. Dredge. More like dredge. <laughs> Dredge could could have multiple meanings, Terry. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, uh, Terry, while I've got you here as well, do you still have my copy of Link's Awakening for the Switch? Is it you that has that, or is, does Manny have it, or does somebody else have it? You do. Okay. As long as you, as long as I know where it is, I might have to come get that at some point. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz. <laughs> haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Mm. Looks like me. Stick a yellow hat on that guy. That's me. I do still have your Xbox. It's in my closet. Yep. What happened to the other fisherman? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns and other islands might pay you different, but while you're here, uh, I'd suggest working on paying it off first. I've got all of this. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a trade. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Ah, yes. We're going to need those to upgrade our boat. We're going to upgrade our bus. Uh, visit the local shipwright. What are we going to research first? I remember not understanding how this worked my first playthrough, and I made mistakes and didn't have enough research stuff to get the stuff that I actually wanted. We're going to need the fishing upgrades, like the fishing rods, because you need to catch mangrove and coastal and stuff like that, so... But engine I might work on first? Because that increases our speed, right? Yeah, yeah, Twitter is X now. Yeah. Elon's, uh... Elon's, Elon's going through some stuff. Just consistently, I think. Just, just still freaking out about his X and just doing everything he can to ruin the world around him. I use TweetDeck. I use I use a different website that that gives me Twitter, so I don't notice any of this shit. Because TweetDeck is just always going to be TweetDeck. <laughs> on my on my cell phone though, has it updated yet? I wonder. No, 
still still a bird for me. I still got the bird on 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 mobile, but on desktop, yeah. He's just flagging against reality. That's all he is, yeah. He's just an insane billionaire with nothing else to, better to do with his time. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to the damaged hull. She looks up and you, at you briefly before turning her back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. Okay. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Yeah. All good. I want a new engine. How much money do we have? Get that on me. I'm already noticing how slow I am. It'd be kind of sad if it wasn't so disruptive to real live human beings. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Let's go fishing. Ah, oh, damn. Never mind. What's this sparkling thing in here, though? The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have had their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic Intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Cool. Makes you think. Makes you think. Alright, more fish. More fish. Because I just need to pay off the debt first, I think. Just like always in life, the first thing you need to do is pay off your debt. Which I will also work on at some point in my life. <laughs> it's quite a bit of it. Still can't get that yet. Do I need to visit this town yet? Or does it matter? When I first played this game, man, I was so scared to, like, leave this... These... these This uh, surrounding of rocks. Like, I didn't want to go out into the bigger world. Because I knew it was spooky, but I didn't know how spooky. And I was, I was too spooked. I was too spooked. Into a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that. No. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't quite what they used to. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Uh. No. Ah. Snapchat streak is eight days away from being 420. Heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Please. Okay, one more one more school of fish, and I think we should have enough to uh, pay off the debt. We don't have any spooky fish yet, though. I'm realizing now how perfect this game is to transition from fishathon summer vibes to spooky Halloween vibes because listen the planning has already begun I made a big fuss on Twitter about how I shouldn't be planning Halloween events but listen I've, I've written some things down <laughs> I've written some things down already can't help myself ah oh, squids yeah. 
Just the one though. Just the one. Uh, I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. What do you got? Gulf flounder and a gray eel. Okay, I can't catch eel yet. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water in order to catch those fish. Yeah. <laughs> Solid tips, though. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Two dollars remaining. Come on. Should be super hyped for Halloween. You're going to have two amazing guests this year. You're right. You're right. It's going to be a very interesting Halloween this year. Very exciting. Um, that's going to be great. Hmm. Honestly, stoked to have you guys here. It's going to be so much fun. Um, do we want 40% fishing speed for 50 extra dollars? Let's go for it. Uh, I mean, not not in the case of what we're talking about now, Terry, but there's always room for guests for Halloween streams. Now, of course. Of course. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh. Why are you here? I've come to fish. Yeah. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. My ego is showing. I thought I was an exciting guest. I mean, you are. But there are two people that are traveling here from a different side of the country. <laughs> uh, sorry. Different side of the world. So for, for, for Halloween this year, they are the exciting people. But everybody else is just as exciting. Um, Halloween October itself is just a good month to have special guests on, so I'm sure I'll try to try to fit everybody in at some point. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Ugh. I already have my costume idea planned. I'm going as Kate's sleep paralysis demon. Going to wear a black hoodie and just crouch staring at her from across the room. They, she'll probably love that, honestly. She'll probably hire you then to come hang out in her room while she tries to sleep, because it'll... Make her feel more at, at, at home, at peace. Oh, there's just one squid left. Yeah, good flights, good flights. Not for another while yet, though. Not until uh, not until October. But I mean, we're we're approaching October pretty quickly. What is today? 29th today, so I mean, it's basically August. Anybody, uh, anybody planning on going down to the regatta this, uh, this, this week? Regatta's on Wednesday. I was saying, I was saying earlier, uh, I don't know if I'm, I'll be there or not. I, I want to go. Myself and John were talking about going, and I'd like to go. But where I took Friday off work, it'll probably it'll it'll be weird for me to be like, okay, I'm also leaving Wednesday as well, early. But I think I can get away with it. So I might I might go down. Uh, I've got the flounder for you, sir. And you can have the rest of it because those boys are big. Ah, that's a debt paid off as well. Mayor is in a good mood. He's got a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Going down with sci-fi. Nice, nice, nice. Perhaps we'll see you down there. If myself and John go down. Ass and sass, hit up the regatta. Hell yeah. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attached points for equipment, even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, and that sort of thing. Huh. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. 
Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay, yeah, I don't think we can do much of this stuff yet. We don't have the ability to dredge. But that's okay. I know where there are some eels. If they're still there. We'll go grab ourselves an eel, and then we'll go... No, maybe they're not there. They're not there anymore. Um, and we've got a package to deliver as well. Can I pick this up yet? I don't think so. No. If I were an eel, if I were an eel, up the the. Are you eel? No? Where do eels live? I thought I, I thought for sure I saw some earlier. Maybe out here. Go around the coast, have a look. There's some cloth, there's some sharks of some sort. Mm. There's some eels, perfect. Just as it starts to get dark. Okay, let's get the heck home or else it's gonna get spooky. That light is not very strong. And there's a bunch of rocks that we need to go through. Oh, boy. I've got my lights on. Don't want to crash into any rocks. Uh. Okay. Woo. Close. Whoa, where'd that one come from? That was close. Too close. I've got you your eel, sir. There you are. Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't seem to be people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And, well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Well, I'm not too insane right now. Um, let's see if we can grab some squid. And a whole grouper, is that what it said? I don't know what that looks like. And we are getting a little bit insane here now, so I think we're just gonna we'll take our squid win and we'll go on back. We'll head on back. Yeah, lights are starting to flicker. Not great. Not great. Two squids, good. And then a black grouper, all right. I don't think that needs to be nighttime, does it? We'll find out. We shall find out. Let's do a snooze. And see if we can find some black marrows. I think they're pretty common. They're, they're kind of all over the place, aren't they? Let's see. Let's see. What are you guys? Mackerels? Minnows? Not what I'm looking for. What do we have over here? These are the stingrays? 
Haven't got one yet, so let's give it a go. They're so big. Okay. We'll take two of those just so we can say we did. And we'll keep looking for a grouper. Make sure that not this. In fact, I don't want to fish there. Don't have enough room to be catching whatever we feel like it right now. What do we got over here? Oh, right. I forgot. I didn't use this at all. Throughout the um, first playthrough that I did. But it's so helpful to like look at what everything is. Mackerel, cod. Maybe the blue, uh, the grouper, the black grouper are at night only. I'm not seeing any anywhere. Okay. It's alright. We'll just head back. Sell these stingrays. Uh, maybe we can grab some of these while we're here. Fill up on fish before we head back. Another eel? Can we can we fit it in our hold? I don't know. Yes. Just the one, though. <laughs> just the one. This game is so pretty. Like, it's so gloomy. It's so sad. And, uh, uh, a bit macabre. But it's, like, it's, it's so nice looking. The colors are so, so nice. Oh. Fishermonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. Excellent, thank you. That actually does something for us, doesn't it? Uh, just to clear the alerts that something's new. Where are our books? Bookshelves. Read this, please. Lovely. We'll deliver this package now, because I totally forgot about that, too. Deliver this package to the dock worker. Then once the sun sets, we'll see if we can see any groupers. Try to get that quest finished. And hopefully we'll unlock the ability to dredge soon because there's a lot of materials in the ground in the water that we could definitely use. <laughs> a delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. This smells foul. You obviously took your sweet time getting here with this. He won't let me pay for delivery in this state, but hmm, maybe I can give you this. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book out of his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Thank you. Can only read one book at once, though. So we'll we'll read that one to give us some sort of buff. Not sure what they're going to do yet, but one, once they happen, they'll happen. Nothing in our storage. We are just waiting for time to pass now, I think. Not too much longer, though. Where do we think the groupers are going to show up, I wonder? Hmm. I think they're still shallow type of fish, so it's not... Uh, not gonna have to go too far. I just think it might need to be nighttime, that's all. So we'll just drive around until nighttime happens. Ah! Is that one? It looks like it. Looks like it to me. Yeah. Only
only two. It's alright. Gotta upgrade these lights, man. We can't see anything. Ah! Oh. Insanity rocks are gonna just come out at us out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Oh, I don't like those noises. Alright. It's all good. Quest complete. Two quests complete. I've got the rest of your order, my friend. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. I've been meeting to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I've got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the ship, right? Thank you. I think I will. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two to check on it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Okie dokie. Okay. Yeah, can you fix my crab pot for me, please? For seven bucks? Pretty good. Um, do we want to get a headlight? I think we probably do. Uh, 750 lumens versus 500? Yeah, let's grab the 750. Upgrades. Upgrades. Um, and I guess we'll sleep. Or no, we'll, we'll drop off the, uh, we'll go dunk the crab pot first. Just off, just off the coast here. Doesn't need to go very far. Just like right, right, right here. Then we'll sleep. And we'll have a sleep. Resting until dawn. Oh. Is that enough time for you? You got any crabs? No. <laughs> Naturally. Alright. We'll just grab some more fish, I suppose. Game do be pretty. I agree, Stoof. I agree. It's it's very, very stylized. It's very artistically stylized, and I'm a big fan. Big fan of the graphics on this one. I guess it's sh it's cell shading? I guess you could... Is that what this is? It gives off a cell shaded vibe, if, not, if it's not cell shading. Bottle. Fibs. Oh, I uh, I forgot to mention. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Uh, future Emma's back this week, but not what I wanted to say. Ah, there we go. Now we're starting to get the spooky fish. All-seeing cod. He's just got massive eyeballs. Very spooky. Uh, my mouse that I thought was broken yesterday, not broken, not broken. I'm using it right now. The left click is a little bit sticky, so it's a left stick, not a left click. Um, but I think using it for the duration of today is going to kind of work that out. So hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Second piece of good news, not locked out of the Growler's, uh, Photoshop account. <laughs> like I thought we were, I was just entering the email wrong. Because I was so frustrated and flustered yesterday. I was just doing it all wrong. So, all good news all around. So, both of the things that I thought were really bad yesterday. Turns out, not so bad after all. Yeah, a little disassemble and a little wipe down with a, with a wet pad or whatever. It'd be good as new. So, that's good. I don't... I, one of the USB plugs could be broken. And that's why it wasn't working yesterday, but I don't know. Oh no! I need the fiddler crab. I can throw in the way, unfortunately. 
shoot. I'll throw him away too. You know, why am I doing that? Let's just go sell all this stuff first and come back. Jesus. GG clap. Yeah, so you can look forward to... You can look forward to every single game from this subathon being cut up into its own individual streams and being uploaded onto YouTube with wonderful, wonderful thumbnails to match. Wouldn't be able to do that without that Growler's account, so thank goodness for that. That's our first grotesque fish as well. That's also going to kick off another uh, quest line. Uh, hello. What is it today? Check out this grotesque fish. It's nasty. Mm. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well... I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find more. How about this one? This guy. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Island. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay. Uh, uh, what was I doing? What do we want to do next? Uh, we had to deliver fish too, didn't we? Oh no, the crab, crab pot. That's what it was. Fiddler crab. I've never really had much crab. I'd like to try. I think I said we mentioned that earlier. Someone, we were talking about imitation crab. I think. I'd like to try crab. I've had lobster before. Not crab, though. I do have a crab for your order, yeah. There you go. I've got nothing else for you, unfortunately. We're going to have a cheeky little sleep. All the way till daytime. Oh, my goodness. My back. Fisherman! Have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Well, I'm going south anyway, so I think I might. It's a good shout. Crab? Nope, but we did finish our book, so we can start a new one. What buff did that give us? Rods will reel in fish 10% more efficiently. Excellent. Good stuff. We will head south to have a chit-chat with the plot, and then we'll go talk to that other woman. <laughs> we shall see. Zimbi, how's it going, my dude? This game is great indeed. I agree. I agree. I've already played through it all the way, but we're just doing a uh, we're doing a stream version, a stream run for that sweet sweet magnet. Still don't know what this workshop does though. What I can tell, it just doesn't do anything, and it's weird that they'd put it there and not have it do anything. How you doing today, sir? How's your Saturday going? Work was good, I hope. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson, with silver ribbons. <sighs> you came. Who told you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts. Treasures and truths. And curios to occupy the periphery of desire. What he's saying here 
not technically untrue. You have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. It bursts into fire. Held it a bit too close to the flames. Ah, oh, shit. The game's over. <sighs> These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been looking for. It sank many years ago. Home now, grabbing some food? Heck yeah. You ready for some fishing, my dude? Some, some friendly fishing? Can't wait. Uh, just so you know, before we jump into Sea of Thieves, the, uh, incentives, I kind of threw all the incentives in the garbage because, just because, um, but I have agreed to unlock all of the incentives. That being said, yesterday we unlocked the Sea of Thieves incentive regardless. So today we are sailing under the protocol, the Sea of Thieves protocol, or Sea of Friends protocol, sorry, which means... We've got to get one fish of every kind of fish in Sea of Thieves into a storage crate, but we're not allowed to fight any other pirates or krakens or megs. We are friends to everyone today. It is a peaceful fishing stream. There will be no firing of guns, no killing of skeletons, no killing of crustaceans, no killing of sharks, nothing. We are fishermen and fishermen only. It's going to be incredible. If a, if a Reaper ship just starts to come towards us, it's going to be insane. Someone's going to have to, like, take the, the crate with all the fish in it and bury it somewhere. And we'll have to hide it there until we can eventually sail back to get it again. Like, it's going to be it's going to be incredible. I can't wait. I'm so excited. We might not have that happen. We Everything might go flawlessly, but we shall see. We will fire no guns, shed no tears. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Uh, it carried items of great importance. The boat, right? The ship he's looking for. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be a challenge. That's where you come in. My proposition, my proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll needly need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Yeah. Huh. I'll shed tears if we encounter a kraken and I can't murder it. That's it. That's it. We're friends to the Kraken today. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks and other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okay. Thank you. I'm curious to see how well we're going to do with has Neil has Neil responded because we're not sure if John's going to be joining us now or not. Um, if we've got four of us, I'm curious to see even with just with three, I'm curious to see how long it's going to take and if it's even possible within what I think I've got four hours allotted for Sea of Thieves today. Thankfully, we'll be able to get started, like, right away. We won't need to, like, stock up on supplies or anything like that. I mean, we can. We absolutely can. But, um, as soon as you spawn on an outpost, you can immediately get started. Because the plenty fins are just anywhere. Cause I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Might be time for me to christen a brig if John isn't going to make it. Yeah, I guess we might need a brig, yeah. Didn't think of that. I mean, if you want to buy one, you don't have to. I'm sure I can afford one as well. I've got DJ Jazzy Jeff that we've only sailed on once. So if you don't want to buy one, we've got one available. But up to you. I, I will never push to use my ship. I am always totally okay with using other people's ships. I do enough playing of the game my own time to to get my ship upgraded and stuff, so. It was in your plans to pick up a rig? You've come up with a name? Cool. All right. I'm down. Sounds good to me. Zimby also mentioned, like, we don't use the brig very often, so it's like, I don't really want to buy one if I don't need to. I 
can't wait. Oh my god, I could play. I could. I could honestly do a 36-hour uncapped Sea of Thieves subathon. <laughs> so. I do. I've got the final crab. Uh, here you go. I don't think I'm going to be doing another subathon for another little while, but like I said, definitely going to be playing a lot more Sea of Thieves in the future. The Buoyant Beppels. Oh, there you go. There's a ship name for you. Let's Beppels. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. One final request for you. Have you seen some fish around here can develop odd deformities? What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They probably go mad. <laughs> well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Dude is freaky, man. I'm not I'm not associating with anybody that wants to eat a mutant fish. That's just not that's just not it. Right. Um What do we need for this? We need two metal scraps and one piece of lumber. Alright, well we'll put the lumber in for now. Uh Put this lumber here. <gasps> what is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in the wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from the patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's going down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Okay. Not gonna listen. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. Hmm. What's it like out there? It's nice. It's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not even come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Uh, it's not so bad here. The level of quiet menace in this game is tantalizing. Orange, you glad? How's it going, my friend? I couldn't agree more. It's it's a very, very well atmosphered game. They did a really good job capturing that, that gloomy kind of feel. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all that I need. Just stack it up on steel point when you have anything. Okay, yeah. Work on that. A little side quest there. Um, and then I guess we will sleep. What are we going to do tomorrow? We'll go dredge a bit, I guess. We'll dredge and we'll fish, because we need, we need one more mutated fish, and we need some dredging materials, so. Orange, how you doing today? You having a good one? Good Saturday? Fingers crossed. Welcome to the 36-hour long, potentially... Subathon, where we're playing only games with fishing in them. Welcome to the fishathon, my friend. Nut. That's a nut. <laughs> Doing okay? Just taking a break before I head to the theater for a chorus concert day. Oh, that sounds exciting. Are you performing? Are you rehearsing? What's the deal? I love theater. Big fan. Big, big, big fan. Nut. Come on, give me a spooky fish. Give me a spooky fish. Boom. I'm singing, and we have tech rehearsal, then a performance, so it's going to be a long day. Oh, goodness me. All right. Wow. A long, productive day, though, I hope. Those are the best kind of long days. When stuff gets done. What uh, What is it that you sing? Is it a, Is it like a musical, or... 
Are you singing just a song that you picked? Lost the Diglio. That's so fun. I love I love everything that goes into like performing a play and stuff. Do I have any fishing stories IRL? Um Uh, it's a show with some guests from Mexico, so it's a lot of pop and Broadway. Oh, that's cool. That's exciting. That's a lot of high energy, a lot of exciting, exciting kind of music. That's fun. I once went fishing with two friends, and we didn't expect to f uh, actually catch anything. And when we did, we all kind of realized we didn't know how to handle the situation of taking a hook out of a fish's mouth and then killing the fish. So, <laughs> so... It was quite a struggle. It was quite a struggle between all three of us trying to get it to happen. But it was it was great. It was it was ridiculous. We were still boys exactly, but now we're men. But now we're men. You're a little bit further than I am in this game, but it's a great game to either binge or just play 15 minutes of at a time when you can. Oh, 100%. It's it's really good for that. You can kind of pop in and out whenever you want. I've, uh, I've played through this game already uh, in my own time, but we're just doing it on stream now. Uh, one thing that we do around here is that if I complete a game on stream, I get a magnet, and I put that magnet on my fridge. And I want the dredge magnet, so we're going we're gonna to play through dredge um, either between today and tomorrow. We're going to try to get the dredge magnet as part of this fish-a-thon that we're doing. Food has been acquired. Heck yeah, dude. What do you got? Are you keeping the spirit of the subathon alive? Did you get yourself some fish and chips? I just had my leftover Keiths from last night as my lunch for today. <laughs> and then for supper tonight, guess what? Sushi. Fish, fish, fish. Um, jalapeno mac and cheese. So not fish and chips, unfortunately. Ah, that's too bad. Close enough. Close enough. Uh, research. Let's see. Where do we go first? Do we go to the swamp first, or do we go to the hot place first? Neither. We go to the big eel place first, right? So we don't need either one of these yet. This one, maybe. But I can't unlock that one yet, I don't think. I need a research part. Uh, significantly larger species. Do I want to grab this first, maybe? You got yourself a margarita. Oh, my goodness. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. We could get some crab pots, too, I suppose. A good way to get some passive income. We'll hold on to our research part for now. Until we decide we actually need it for something. Um, I watched a video not too long ago of a guy who went across Canada and the US and visited every single Margaritaville. And it was such a fun video to watch. It was so fun. I'd love to do videos like that, honestly. Go on ridiculous road trips and film it all. And then edit it down. That would be so much fun. Every single Margaritaville. Apparently they did it last year as well. Where they went to every single rainforest cafe across Canada and the US. I, I need to go back and watch that one. Because he made it seem like that one was quite traumatizing. <laughs> well, the Margaritaville one seemed kind of enjoyable. I've never been to either. So I don't know. Got no form of reference. Oh, uh, nighttime. We, we're going to want to go over there to that purple, purple beam of light now. Now that we can. And it's free. It's just like that online game before story. When you have fun with the crazy experience, the out of the ordinary. See, this is why I imagine dredging is expensive in real life. Because you've got to have the entire setup, right? 
you've got to have the specific setup for it, which is a lot of gears and mechanical stuff, and that just setup in general seems... Oh. Nope. Nope. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, other boat. Go away, go away, go away. <laughs> Hit this rock. Go, go away, go away. Is it still behind us? Yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. Damn it. I thought we got away. Shit. Shit. I've actually never seen that before. I've always managed to avoid the ships until... Until just now. Uh, well, we'll sell. We lost a bunch of fish there. That's too bad. Can you repair me, please? 60 bucks? Oh, my God. The damages. Store that for now as well. Um, and we'll, you know what? We'll sleep. We'll sleep. I think I want to upgrade our lights maybe before we go over there. So we need we need to dredge more. We need to be dredging for materials now, I think. So if we go around this if we if we do a loop around the island, we should find quite a few materials. There's a few spots over here too, I think. Funny that you need to dredge in a game called Dredge. I know, right? It's so strange. Who would have expected it? Not me. I didn't expect it. I had no idea. There's apparently like a, a I think there's like a secret, secret alt, uh, uh, altar over here as well that I missed out on my first time playing the game. Because like I said, I was too scared to explore. <laughs> I was too scared to explore, so I missed a lot of stuff. But it's really not a spooky game. It's more so of a, an eerie game. So Yeah, see this here. I, I had no idea this was here the first time I played. Crude symbols of curved fish. Okay, so it wants us to fill this up with cod, I'm imagining. The cod father. Yeah, uh, you get like, I think it's like cool equipment or something like that. You get like a, I think I got a rod once. I got like a fleshy rod, which was really gross, but useful, I guess. Just another side quest to complete, really. I'm all about that. Can we fit more one one more in here, I think? We can somehow. Um Hmm. If it's orange it means there is a way to fit it in somewhere. I just need to figure out how. Um, I feel like this should be maybe somewhere else. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, wait, wait. Damn. Ah, got it. Okay. I knew there was a way. There's no solution. There is! I figured it out. I'm a fisherman. Give up, lose your fish. No! No! I won't. I'm a true fisherman. I did immediately forget that we we're supposed to be dredging, though, and immediately filled up on fish. It's okay. It's nighttime again. We can go grab that, uh, that purple purple beam. Or try to, at least. Uh, lights. What did the lights need? 
one of these, one of these, and then one of these. Got an extra light spot. Ah. So now... Oh! She pulls a book from the toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. Cool. Get a second light installed. Slap our mechanical parts in there. You were the kid who filled up on bread before the food came, huh? I say that like I wasn't that kid too. Uh, yeah. Well, when I was a kid, I was super picky. So, like, I would only eat bread. <laughs> like, I I didn't eat a lot when I was a kid. That's a lie. I ate a lot when I was really young. And then when I grew up a little bit, I stopped eating. And it's only recently in the past few years that I've really made a push to just try a lot of new food. And it's been good. I've been a lot more open to food lately. But, yeah, I was absolutely that guy who would fill up on bread and say, No, thank you. Bread, the bread was enough. I'm good. <laughs> so that, that was absolutely me. I don't think I saw that before, either. Holy shit, that's terrifying. Look at that. Look at that. Big, big skeleton. New food and new experiences in general are just great. I agree. I agree. When you're young, you can afford to be picky, but once you get older and you realize that time is literally fleeting, you're all going to be dead soon, any day. Uh, yeah, try to get as many experiences and try new foods and stuff as you can. That's the way I look at it anyway. But it's, you know, it's harder to look at it that way when you're young. What a key. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we've got we've got the plot. And it's looking back at us, which is never great. <laughs> Sassy. We've got so many billionaires who could just all of a sudden wake up one morning and decide to nuke the planet. The Earth is, like, drastically heating up at a rate that is... It's possible that we're going to see the heat death of the Earth in our lifetime. So, yeah. I'm trying as many foods as I can <laughs> before either of those things happens. I don't want to look at it as a doom and gloom kind of thing. I'm looking at it as a, a, a good excuse to try new things. Well, the heat death of the universe is when... All the stars explode, right? I'm using it to describe global warming, literally killing everything on the planet. So That's not what it means, but that's how I'm choosing to use it. It is, we're all going to die because of heat. It is heat death. <laughs> IMO. Oh, dispersed perfectly and evenly. Oh, geez. All right, well, that's not the way I'm using it. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He still seems impatient. You have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he, as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seems changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Hmm. Is that all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. Perfect Entropy? Or the Endpoint on Entropy? Uh, both are solid band names, honestly. Perfect Entropy sounds like a band name. The Endpoint on Entropy sounds like a Fallout Boy song title. So either are good for something. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. <laughs> now go. We have more relics to un uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Nope. Thank you for giving me magic. 
kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, we can kind of like sprint through the water now. Like this. Helps us get away from the bad fishies. It does heat us up quite a bit though. Uh, okay, I still want to I want to finish these last few quests though before we move on because I don't want to have to come all the way back here Later on the traveling is not so bad, but right now it's a bit slow I'd rather not cross the whole map just to bring this guy a fish back once we catch one Come on give me a mangled eel Give me a gross looking eel. Damn. No gross eels today. <laughs> and here we are again. Uh... Here we go. You only get the weird fish when the water is kind of shiny. Oh, is that what is that what the factor is? I wasn't sure if it was just random chances or not. Oh, the lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dark dock with a confused look on her face. Hello, son. How you doing? Happy Saturday. Ooh, ah. Oh my God, scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Your engine, it sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks towards the lighthouse. Sorry to disappoint. How's your, uh, how's your Saturday going? Son, you having a good one? Let's see if we can... It's like a... There's like a purpley greenish shine on them, isn't it? I know what sparkle you're talking about now. We should we should try to find some cod. Yeah. Let's see if we can fill up this altar while we're here too. My Saturday playing Stardew Valley role play with your 13 year old. Sounds like a great time. What is that sound? What was that sound? I didn't see anything. Okay, ignore it for now. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Um, just in year three, so you just got the greenhouse. Oh, I love the greenhouse. The greenhouse is so freaking helpful. Wait, is it nighttime already? It is. Shit. Uh, I want more cod. Singing the Beatles. Do 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 do. I'm from the Beatles. My name's Ringo Starr. I play the drum. Rap a tap a time. Uh, card, card, card. Two more. If we can find two more card, we'll be, uh, jolly good, sir. All that's left is an old husk. Yeah, let's have a look inside. Ah, look at that. Materials. And things that we can sell. I'm 
I'm tempted to go all the way around the island still. I am slightly insane, however. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Oh. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. I think you need to be insane for that to work. Does I've never really experimented with them. That's not cod. No! Something's gonna get on the boat. But, I finished reading my book. So that's good news. I think this is what we're looking for. I think this is the sparkle that Zimby was talking about. Let's get it before that tornado gets us. That tornado's coming. Ah, no! Okay, let's get the heck out of Dodge. We're very injured. But we got, we got, a, we got a fish that we needed, so that's good. I am heckin' cool. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate that. Oh my god, he's so heckin' cool. No. No, no. Ignoring the noises. Ignoring the noises. Ignoring... All of the noises. Don't look back. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. True. True. Thank you, the mayor. We can go over to the other town soon and uh, sell this stuff. I do have a mutant fish. Any apparent will suffice. I suspect they're all the same. Underneath. Gross, man. You're gonna eat that thing? He takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Oh. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Oh, thank you. Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the, stillness of the, in the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. No. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now! The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar slide across it. Dude's weird, man. I don't wanna... I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. We'll repair the boat. You're, you're, you're much more, son. You're much more than poop and skulls. You're much more than poop and bones. <laughs> but I, too, have felt like poop and bones before. Um, let's sell our lights for now. And get a bigger, a bigger light. You're much more than poop and bones. Also sounds like a Fall Out Boy song title. You're right. Good point. Good point. It's always important to remind your friends that they're more than just poop and bones, you know? It's just a <laughs> healthy way to carry out relationships with pals. Okay, we need we need a bit of cloth and then we can get some more space for our uh, fishing rods. And we can toss these into there and we're going to finally have ourselves a little bit of a nap. Should we sleep the whole day away? And eh, probably not. Who's pooping bones? Does someone need an exploratory laparotomy? I'll take a lobotomy. <laughs> if you're just giving them out, yeah. Line up. Hmm. 
We could get a faster engine. But that takes four. I don't even know if we've got a boat big enough for that yet, do we? Uh. Now we do. Ten, ten plus fourteen. Ten point five plus fourteen point seven is what? Fifteen point two. Fifteen point two versus. Oh wow, that's a big upgrade. If we wanted to put. You know what? Yeah. Huh. Let's get an engine upgrade. Uh, we'll sell these. Oh, I can't. You can't in, you can't un uh you you can't sell your first your first one. I watched that Margarita YouTube video series, and now I know so many things I didn't know before watching. I yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good watch, though. Hey, big fan. Big, big fan. John Boy is a different John. John is John Boy is John with no H. John with an H is 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 NGO Sweet. I'll take a blue feather out of me. I'll just eat mushrooms by the tree and hang out with the spirits, with the sprites. I like that idea. That's a solid idea. Uh, dogs that eat bones so they can't pass, which happens often, require surgical removal. Lapero equals abdomen. Otomy equals a surgical cut. Oh, dang. Yeah, I imagine dogs get their get their mouths on bones quite quite often. Chicken bones are the dangerous ones. I don't want this. There are a few Johns in our life. I Yeah, absolutely. Quite a few. More than you realize, because I know I know quite a few people that have dads that are named John as well. You took seven giant rocks out of a dog this week. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dogs out here just gobbling down rocks because they can Ridiculous. I mean, like, in this economy. Can't blame him, though. Um. I want to finish that cod, cod altar. Seven massive rocks out of the one dog. That is wild. That is wild. Come to Edmonton. Eat at every restaurant in the West Edmonton Mall. Oh my god, that would be fun. What a challenge. That that would be expensive, though. You'd need to have to do, like, some sort of, uh, some sort of, uh, 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 uh promotion with the mall. Be like, yeah, I'll, I'll advertise the West Edmonton Mall, but you gotta give me, like, discounts or something, because that would be expensive. Was it more like a stress thing? No, it was an idiot thing. <laughs> it was a lab. Just eating whatever they see, I guess. Each rock was 20 centimeters. Oh my god. Wowzers. The shepherd that lives with me... Play eats rocks. She tosses them around in her mouth and then makes awful scratchy tooth sounds and then spits them out. Ugh. Just don't eat rocks. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something is lodged against the rock. A sinew spindle. Let's us catch coastal and shallow fish. 6% speed. So it's much, much slower, but it does what both of these rods do in one. Hmm. Okay, well, it's got to go in our storage for now. We could, we could go install it, though. I feel like that's going to save us quite a bit of space. 
I found whatever the altars gave me, though, not, not super, super helpful in the long run. Probably empty that crab pot, though, over here. The altar crab pot is fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's probably dope. I don't know if I got that one or not. But I found, like, a lot of the hooks and stuff. Just, I don't know. I already had better hooks than, than what they were giving me. Fiddler crab. Yeah, he's a big lad. He's got that big snappy claw. Fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Still, I've got a full inventory of fish, my friend. Um, where do I want to go? Do I want to install this? I feel like I probably do. You've got our brig purchased. Oh, God. We're going to have to find out what the name is later. I don't think he's going to tell us just now. Uh, what is the claw for? I, I imagine it's for, like, breaking things. I, I know it, it, It's not what it's obvious. It's not the obvious thing. I know that much. John just said he'll pass? Okay, that's fine. If Todd If Todd's still got the stream up, John and Todd can watch us play Sea of Thieves while they hang out. Best of both worlds. Not a big deal. The three of us can manage. Um, Nala's favorite thing to do was squeak and tread and would bring me dead rats. And then she found out that she found around the yard and hunt things. I, I hear that a lot too, yeah. Ah, there you go. Yeah, it's for attracting mates. There you go. I knew it was something, but not the obvious thing. Hey, girl, see how big my claw is? Oh. Uh, there we go. So now we can fish coastal and shallow. With 44% speed on this one and 6% speed on speed on this one. I, I guess that was better. It didn't. It doesn't seem to be better, if I'm honest. I could get rid of this one too, I suppose, to clear up more room. It's not better now, but it might be better later. Uh, thank you for the hydrate, son. Appreciate it. Size isn't, ev size isn't everything, Mrs. Krabs. Exactly. You're right. You're streaming tomorrow. With Cam and like 15 updated stream things. Oh my goodness, so many updates. That's heckin' cool. That looks less exciting. That's heckin' exciting. Blind and headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Yeah, all right. Dude eats a mutated fish. Now he's got a headache and can't remember the day before? Ugh. Ah, mix it up. Yes, mix it up seems so good. I really need to sit down and get some time to delve in to mix it up. It seems like so much fun. Thank goodness Mel. Mel revealed the secrets of it to me. I had no idea it existed. Um, okay. Two lumber, two scrap, but I'm not super concerned about that, if I'm honest. Uh, so let's make our way over to the Gale Cliffs, I guess. It's an easy tool. If you need a hand with it, let me know and I'll jump in a call. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, I don't exactly know how a lot of it works. A lot of it seems to be coding-based. But um, it also does seem like there's a bit of a, a bit of a community around it as well. So I think I think anything I want to do with it, I'll be able to figure out. But I'll let you know. I'll I'll come crying to you, Sassy, if I need any help. It's good to know that there's a few other people around that are using it. We want to go this way. Uh, will you wear a mustard hat? Sadly, no. <laughs> 
I do want to get a mustard costume one day and or ketchup. Oh my god, if you dressed up as ketchup for Halloween, that would be so funny. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. He's big. It's a swordfish. A bunch of your redemptions are automated now. Yeah, that's what I want to use it for the most. Um, I don't... There's no video tube uh, connection with Mix It Up, unfortunately. But there might be some workarounds that I can do so that if someone redeems a different face that they want to hear, uh, that they want to see. Dolphins? Oh my goodness, they're huge! Orcas! Orcas! Killer whales! Hello, little guys. Big guys. Have fun down there. Go get some yachts or whatever. Shamu! Yeah, because it would be really cool if someone redeems, you know, uh, Davy Swalls or something like that, and then my face just changes and I don't need to click anything. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. So I'd like to get that so set up at some point. But um, there's, there's ways to... Because the, the program that Mel uses for her VTuber is just part of Mix It Up Bot, so it's a lot easier to set it up. But there, there's got to be other ways to work around on it, so. Mel's had some ideas as well, so. Welcome to Ingfell, everybody. We'll probably save here and uh, get ready for Sea of Thieves. Pocket Pirate, play all. Will do. See, right now I've got to manually go over to the to the program now. Scroll through all of the different faces and find the one that's right. But imagine if you redeemed that and it just happened automatically. That would be amazing. That would be so good. Oh my goodness. Backstretch. Huh. I think we're going to just end this here. How do I do a big save? Right here. Save and quit.